Hey everybody, today we're going to be using the Anchor Make M5 and Prusa Slicer to do filament swaps in a slightly different way. You can do this on any printer that supports the M600 or Color Change G code. In this video, we're going to be making this nozzle box with a color inlay. Alrighty, so the first thing you're going to want to do is download the file from Printables. The link to the file is in the video description. Once you get to the page, click on download. Be sure to download the AM nozzle box with inlay.step file. Click on download and save it to the location of your choice. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is go over to Prusa Slicer. Now I am using my Anchor Make CE profiles that I maintain for the community. You don't have to use those, but I do recommend you give them a shot. You can get the profiles in the link in the video description. We'll be printing at a 0.2 normal layer height, and we're not going to have to adjust any settings there. Now what we're going to do next is go over to the printer settings. This is where we're going to make some changes. On the general tab, we're going to create two extruders. I know we only have one extruder, but we're going to tell Prusa Slicer we have two, and then we're going to use some custom G code for the filament swap. The next thing you want to do is click on custom G code. You're going to scroll all the way down to the color change G code, copy it, and paste it in the tool change G code. Next, we're going to click on extruder one and we're going to enable Z lift. You don't have to, but I do encourage you to do so. So the print does not scrape. So we're going to do a lift Z of 0.3 on extruder one. And then we're going to want to do the same thing on extruder two. 0.3. Okay. The next thing we're going to want to do is save this profile. So click the save button and we're going to name this anchor make C E M five dual for dual extruder and click. Okay. The next thing we're going to do is go over to the filament settings. Now you can see it's set for ABS, but I want to print in PLA plus. So I'm going to select that. Now the other thing I'm going to do on the filament tab is I am going to change the color and I'm going to create a gray. Okay. I'm going to save this and I'm going to call it gray PLA plus get rid of the word copy at the end. You'll see that I have the gray assigned to extruder one. So what we'll do for extruder two is assign generic PLA. So we have two separate colors. You could do generic PLA on both extruders and just leave it as is, but it's really hard to visualize when you do that. Now we're going to head over to the platter and we're going to add our model. So this is where you're going to place the step file that you downloaded earlier. Now you can see this is one solid piece right now, but because it's a step file, it's grouped together. And if you actually right click on it and go to split, and then select to parts, you'll see that it breaks up into pieces over here. Now, if I scroll underneath, since it's all selected, it looks all green, but if I deselect it, you'll see that some of the colors are starting to come through. Now, if you look, you can see that they've assigned the extruder colors to these different items. And you'll see that the first one is the box and the second one is that line. And then as we go through, you'll see it's the different inlay colors that we go through. So what we're going to want to do is select all of the inlay colors, right click and set extruder to extruder two. Now, when we deselect everything, you'll see we have the inlay as well as the box in two separate colors. Let's go ahead and slice this file now. And we're going to do a little bit of investigation. You can see that we've got the orange on the bottom and then the rest of the item is gray. We're going to scroll down to the first layer and what you'll see looking from the top is that it lays down the gray and the orange. Now let's see what order it lays them down in. If we scroll through, you'll see it lays down the gray first and then it'll pause when it gets to the orange and we'll swap our filament and then it starts to lay in the orange. Now, if I go up one more layer, you'll see that my inlay is actually two layers high. 
This prevents it from being transparent, so you get an extra layer in there of filament. What's really nice though, is that if you go through the second layer, you'll see it starts on the second color that's already loaded. So it makes for a pretty easy swap. And then we would swap over to the gray and finish from there. The remainder of the model we'll see is all gray. So we're good to go. Now I'm gonna save this over to my flash drive. I know you can send wirelessly and things like that, but I'm just trying to keep things simple. So I'm gonna save this onto a flash drive and then I'll meet you over at the printer. All right, you can see I've got my flash drive in. I preheated just to save a little bit of time on the warm up, but we're gonna go ahead and get started. So click start, select the file, and print. Once it downloads the file, you can actually pull the USB drive out. It's no longer needed. Now the printer's paused because it wants us to load the filament. Well, I already have the filament ready. I'm just going to go ahead and press OK and print. Now we're only using two colors on this print, but you can add as many extruders and colors as you want. I've done up to five colors. Here's an example. This is 16 different filament swaps, so it did take some time. But if you have patience and the time, I just wanted to show you this so you could get an idea of what you could do. All right, it's time to swap the filament. I'm gonna go ahead and put in some red. Now what I like to do is raise up the Z a little bit more. If you go to the extrude menu and move, you can bump it up a little bit. In the app, you can even bump it higher and I would encourage you to do that. All right, now all we gotta do is pull the gray out. Pop the red in. And then extrude. I like to extrude a lot just to make sure all the previous colors out. I'm going to set the nozzle temperature to what it was for the first layer, which was 230. And I'm going to do 180 millimeters and click extrude. Now it's going to have to warm up to do this, but it's worth it. All right, it's pushing the filament out. Now I come in with an Allen wrench and kind of knock it out just to make sure it doesn't get bumped up to the extruder. Once you get enough, you can just kind of use your hand. Don't touch the nozzle though, it's always hot. I'd call that plenty of a purge. I'm taking a look. It's still spitting out a little bit of red. Get that. I'm just going to knock it with a wire brush. All right. Just a little bit of the extra ooze because it is kind of hotter. All right. Going to go back to the main menu. Start it. And you'll see it's laying in the red now. It's going to do both layers, remember? So that'll save us some time. All right, and that's pretty much it.
Now we just have to swap into the gray. Pull out the red. Move the extruder up a little bit. Pop in the gray. Extrude about 180 millimeters. You may be able to do a little bit less. I just like to be on the safe side. All right. Snag what I got coming out now. All right, looking like she's done. Pull that out, put on trash. Go back. Check the nozzle for any rinky dinks. Yeah, got a little bit. Press play. Mm -hmm. All right, now all we've got to do is wait for this to finish printing. I'll see you when it's done. All right, it's finished up. Let's see how it turned out. Nice, so we have the nice inlay. Nice sturdy nozzle box. If you like this project, please let me know and I'll try to do some more. Take care now. Don't forget to subscribe.